The song is called La Montaigne. It is about honor and respect, something Zambian children learn very young, but many adults forget. We have to be trusted. We are taught to have integrity. Trust and respect in government gives confidence to the public. The Zambian government, with support from the Millennium Challenge Corporation Zambia Threshold Project and USAID, are helping Zambians restore respect and honest government. There are new systems and training that help wipe out corruption, including here at the Chirundu Customs Terminal, where Zambia trades with the rest of the world. Virtually 80% of everything Zambia buys and sells arrives here at the Zimbabwe border. It often takes drivers days, even an entire week, before inspectors let them through. When the wheels are standing, there's no money. As long as the wheels are turning, then there's money in the game. And to avoid delays, drivers often offer, and some officials accept bribes, helping skip tedious, sometimes needless inspections. Your boss will only give you money maybe for, for two to three days, but you come here and spend about a week. Zambian Customs and Immigration is working with the Threshold Project to help end that wait by building a new multi-million dollar inspection center and passenger terminal. Well, I'm getting excited when I see this facility because this facility shall help us deal with most of the problems that we have. When trucks sit here, those are costs. They have to pass it on to the final consumer. With the completion of this facility, it shall help the country to reduce the cost of doing business. Skipping inspections with a bribe can cost Zambia 10 million kwacha per truck in lost taxes. Zambia is eliminating that temptation with USAID-assisted software that shares information with each agency allowing direct import payment fees, driving corruption off the road. The intervention by the USAID just came in at, at the right time for us, really, when we're thinking of modernizing our customs uh, operations. And they came in with a lot of assistance of just improving the efficiency at the borders. When you have a lot of congestion at the border, you're creating an environment that is just fed out of corruption. So if we can cut that and eliminate the delays at the border, we'll be doing our part in helping uh, our country develop. Fight corruption. Through the Threshold Program, Transparency International, Zambia's Anti-Corruption Commission, and the Zambia Business Forum are all helping change hearts and minds on television, billboards, even massive anti-corruption demonstrations. Let those who write, write about corruption. And those who report, report about corruption. People have lived for a long time thinking that uh, Corruption is the way of living. It's, it's actually stealing from um, each and every average Zambian. This is the more reason why we are now sensitizing people to report all these activities to us so that they are eradicated. So what is the ACC doing? It's building integrity, pushing transparency, partnering with groups, letting the public know how it can help. It can be the, the first line of defense uh, where people can uh, freely uh, come and uh, report these uh, uh, cases of uh, corruption. The Threshold Program is helping train new Zambian integrity committees, explaining risk management, even letting people start businesses faster. In the books, number. Burton Sikanika says before the Threshold Project stepped in, it could take weeks to register a business. You are not going where the business starts, you are going to where the business ends. <laughs> A streamlined, all-computerized system has changed that. Helps even the smallest businesses stay open. I'm reliably informed that the system has been computerized. So the, the collection of uh, licenses, permits, will take a little shorter time. And the U.S.-sponsored system eliminates virtually any chance of corruption. The system is fast, it's efficient, it's transparent. We are targeting to provide these services across the board in one day. Do you need to pay anybody to do it? I'm sure not. Corruption corrodes every corner of Zambia, from substandard housing, poverty, poorly built roads, uncollected taxes, unbuilt schools. <laughs> Sherry Tole helps the Zambia Business Forum convince companies to stop paying bribes help the nation thrive. It'll reduce the cost of doing business because I think if you have corruption, corruption is a cost to the business. And uh, if we stamp it out, 
obviously the benefits will reach the common man. The Threshold program is helping Zambia's farmers grow their business with new airport inspection and testing, helping guarantee other nations will purchase pest-free produce. This project is extremely important. In fact, we do employ over 16,000 people within this industry. And if we can do a little bit more, it means that population of employees will go up. It means for us a reduction in poverty levels within the country. From the border to housing, every part of Zambian society partnership, education, enforcement. Zambia's government's working with the Millennium Challenge Corporation to generate results, helping exports blossom, and finally helping Zambia businesses thrive. We are people that believe in ourselves. This is a place to be, and we don't want any barrier to stop that from happening. We're very excited about the economic development that's going on, and whatever any institution or any part of government can do to help build on that and really make sure we deliver our dreams of economic development.